Hello, today I will open some diecast models of jets, well, basically planes. There are some modern jets, there are some Cold War jets. But yeah, this is going to be real interesting. I had them for a while, um, but I never did open them. And I think it's time to do that since, well, I want to know what the condition they are in. So. Let's start with the Eurofighter Typhoon. 2008 Eurofighter Typhoon. 100 to 1. Uh, 1 to 100 in that aspect. Ratio. Ratio. Uh, anyways. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna peel the cardboard back of the package. These are collector's items. I don't think they're very expensive, but they're pretty high quality. Okay, let's remove this. Oh, Jesus. Okay, the stand looks fairly good. United Kingdom, you're a fighter. Should we put it together? Wow. Yeah. Why not? I'm not sure if I can. Okay, I'm just gonna do it like this, so I will be able to. Um, okay, let's see the model. Oh, yep, metal. It's made of metal. It's pretty high quality. Um, yeah, as you can see, well sculptured. Well painted. Well, the paint is sort of like this grayish, greenish thing. I guess military. Who knows? There's an insignia on the jet. Hold on. Set. S N S O N L G S squadron leader S Q N probably R Wells yeah yeah squadron squadron leader the pilot's name is R Wells the model is pretty good this is how it looks when it's on a stand oh my god come on. Okay, this is how it looks. It looks pretty good. And yep. A bit of, of a crooked position since I did not. Crap. You see? No. The models are kind of old, so this is bound to happen. I need to. Jesus Christ. Uh, well, yeah, this was bound to happen. So we need to basically pull this out like this. If we can. Yeah, and then basically glue it on the jet. This is why I have my trusty glue here. I'm gonna just make a tiny drop in both sockets. One, two, and we basically put it on like this. Models do need to be taken care of, so. Do not be surprised if they don't. Well, I think this should be like yeah, this should be like this. But first, let it, let's put it like this so gravity could do its job. Okay, and 
two off in the next one. Got one in here. Uh, okay. I can use this one. For glue purposes. Okay. So, next one would be the Panavia Tornado. Again, a British jet. I think it's actually designed in Britain. It's not some sort of cooperation project. So, let's open it carefully and see what the deal is. What's the condition of this? Oh. oh, Jesus. Okay, so Panavia comes with. Uh, okay, again, metal finish with plastic, I mean, fused with plastic. Uh, pretty good sculpturing. Yep. Uh, this is plastic, though. I, I think only the the hull of the jet, or as you can say, superstructure. I'm not sure, is metal, and the wings are they're, they're retractable. Uh, well, in, on the real jet, this is just a model. But in this case, they're just plastic. The tail is um, metal. Again, Panavia Tornado, can you stand on your wheels? Huh, it can. Okay, let's put this together. Just put it like this, so not to fuck up the whole thing. And then we basically do this, I think. Yeah, so the jet would be something like this. Ah. The thing is, well, I'm not gonna put it on the stands because I'm not gonna be able to remove them later, so I'm just gonna show it to you like this. Well, I think you saw it. I'm just gonna. Yep. Decent size. Nice markings, you can actually see the two pilots. Yep. Some insignia, but it's unreadable. So yeah. Panavia Tornado. Let me return it to the box. Okay. And okay, I think. Yep, this is okay. This is in still good condition. Uh, let's see the. Oh, the Eurofighter. Yep, I think the glue has caught on. So we basically. Let's see, put it back in. Like this. Come on. By the way, these are twin engine jets. Hmm. Then we do this, and we do that. This perfect, and we put them okay. and put them on like this. Yeah. This is the thing. Is it's the uh, the. the Last encasing has been heavily damaged. And it's really hard to put it back in. Well, in this case, it works, but okay. Next, we have a World War Two Nazi Germany Ju eighty eight Ju. Okay, let's open this. Bad boy, and see the condition. Okay, yeah. stand sturdy. 
this is the actual plane twin engine bomber as you can see two machine guns and on, on, on the back one on the front could you call this a strategic bomber I, I guess you could I guess you could um, since I'm not very familiar with the airplane itself I'm just gonna show it to you insignias of the Luftwaffe I think yeah I think yeah Small machine gun on the bottom actually moves. This is how it looks. You can see the swastika. Yeah. yeah okay. It's fairly good condition. Let's return it to its resting place. Let's put these back on here and we basically close it. Do it. Okay. okay. Good. Good. So, next one is F 15. Yes. McDonnell Douglas F 15 A Eagle. 1985. Oh, this is a good jet. This is a good jet indeed. Uh, let me open it. Jeez. Yeah, it's just... okay. Okay, so this like this, this like this. It's a big jet, a big thing. This is one to one hundred stand, the same as the others. Bottom of the jet. Oh my god, top. Single pilot version, I think. Armaments, you can see the. Hold on. The entire thing is metal. Well, with a few exceptions. It's pretty sturdy. You can see the armaments. Missiles. Fuselage, I think. Extra few? I'm not sure. Twin engines. Mm. Some sort of insignia. But I cannot. Hold on, it's just that these are so small, it's just Air Force. Nice. Uh, yeah. So I really like the superstructure of the jet. It's smooth, very aerodynamic lines. Looks really nice. It's actually a huge model, to be honest. This is I'm actually a, a big guy, and this is like my hand, and this is the jet. It's pretty big, very detailed. Okay, uh, go 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 back here. Go back here. Ah. Good. Goodbye. Okay, so um, this is the F-15. So what do you have here? Uh, oh, this is the Phantom. Yeah, 1967 McDonnell Douglas F-4C Phantom II. It's a very famous jet. Uh, I think it flew over. V uh, I think it was. It took part in the Vietnam War. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I think it was one of the one of America's main jets at the time. 
I think it was actually flown till the 90s, to be honest. So, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so the stand, good. We're happy with it. Uh, extra. Some stands come with extra extensions like this because the. Um, t uh, how can I say the topography of the jet or the um, uh, the ridges do not um, do, do not allow for the normal stand to just basically go in. So they have to design this small extension like this. I kind of like it because it's transparent and it looks like the jet is flying. When you, it's not like some black thing growing out of it. But yeah, this is how it goes. And yeah, this is the bottom of the jet armaments. Pretty good, pretty well sculptured. Mm, metal, plastic, metal, metal. Most of it is metal actually. Just good, great. Um, machine gun. Two pilots. Two pilots. Insignia. Colonel. Co I don't know. I, I don't know if this is correct. Well, anyways. It's a good jet. I like it. Good jet. Okay, then we have the F two thousand and five F eighteen Super Hornet. That, that was designed like ten years ago. It should be super modern then. Again, there's some sort of like oil on it, probably from the paint they used or the dye in this case. Yeah, so the F18, this is how it looks. Top of the jet, too bad the focus is really annoying. Yeah. Two pilots, twin engine, top, bottom. Yeah, armaments. Looks really good. There's some sort of a wild boar thing. Yeah, okay going on it's really good oh still kind of oily from the paint probably Ooh. all right so um, oh, okay let's get this oh my god oh yes oh, so this is the um su 27 i think yes su 27 sk with the Chinese insignia, probably flown by the Chinese Air Force. It's pretty good jet. Lost one of its wheels, <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Jesus. Okay, Su 27. Jesus. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Looks like the model lost one of its wheels. Yeah, I'll have to glue it in, uh, on. So let's get it out and look at it. Look at this beast! Oh my God, it's huge! It's way bigger than the F-15. It's just ginormous. Okay. Absolute metal on the superstructure. This is from above. 
Okay, this is from... This is the bottom of the year plane. Armaments. Two huge engines. I did not think how much fuel this consum consumes, but it's a one really powerful and beautiful jet. Look like it's the, the the lines of it are just awesome. It looks awesome. I really like the way it looks. Okay, let's glue the wheel on. Looks like this is fallen completely out of the oh my god okay this is gonna take some delicate touching so let's position it and okay so this is completely fallen it should be like this but I'm not actually sure how to oh okay ah, I see Okay, I have to wait then. All right, so let's put a drop, a tiny drop. Okay, it's there. And now we put the wheel. Okay. We need to blow some air. This is not a good way to... Because basically I have to hold it like... Well, maybe not, but... Okay, so I'm gonna leave this one aside. I'm gonna open this one, and this one is gonna go here. Okay. Stay there. Stay there. Okay. So... <laughs> F-16 F-16 is the F-16 is one of my favorite jets because it's small very agile very fast oh this one is from the Polish Air Force General Dynamics F-16C Fighting Falcon I really like the F-16s and they are in Famous for a reason and popular, of course. Oh my god. Okay, so, ah, it comes with the extension because probably the bottom of the airplane doesn't allow for the. Okay, the Polish insignia, I think you can see it. Uh, mostly metal, actually. Yeah, the jet is mostly metal, you can see the pilot. Can you see the pilot? Focus. Focus. Okay. I think you can. Camo, paint job. One engine. Pretty sturdy aircraft. Mm. We are actually considering, I mean, the Bulgarian Air Force is actually considering buying some F 16s for Air Force. I approve of it. Okay, so. Oh. Out of focus. Let's see how this is going. Awesome. It looks it feels awesome. So let's put it back in. Because basically I want to protect it from further damaging. Okay, and then we put this here and we basically close up this. Perfect. So there's <laughs> a MiG, I think this is a MiG-21, yeah, 1999 MiG-21. 
This is from um, East Germany. As you can see, the MiG-21, the MF version. Let's see. Okay. Oof. So much stuff. Okay, so... Yeah, East Germany. Uh, metal frame and superstructure armaments. It's a small jet, it's very retro actually. I think it's from the 60s. Um, one pilot, a one pilot jet. Yes. Some insignia. I don't know what it symbolizes, but well, it's a good, good aircraft. I actually have some pictures with some real life um, MiG 21s, and they're not small. I thought that they were they were small, but they're not. They're not <laughs> at all small. Okay, so we have a the Salt Mirage. It's a French aircraft. Again, bottom superstructure is uh, metal. Um, one person aircraft, I think. Can you see the pilot? Yes. Some antenna, some radar equipment in the front. One jet engine. Powerful enough. Pretty good aircraft. I like the paint job, to be honest. This is like a desert camo. It's good. Okay, let's put this one here. And close. Nope. Get the other one. Okay. So, last one is. What? What do we have last? Ah! The last one is the best one. It's the F uh, F-14A Tomcat. It's my favorite jet ever. There's a story behind it, behind this. I mean, behind this being my favorite jet. It's because there was this show in the 90s uh, on, on Cartoon Network. It was called the Turbo Cats. Uh, no, Swat Cats, sorry. And they, their jet was called the Turbo Cat and was heavily inspired by the F-14 Tomcat and this is why I love this jet it's, it looks awesome it looks very threatening and to be honest actually they still fly it I think in Iran they still fly this again a huge aircraft just huge um, maybe as big as the F-15 Two retractable wings, two pilots, twin engines. It looks perfect. It just looks perfect. Look at it. Isn't that a sexy, sleek line or what? Yeah, so this is Navy, I think. Yeah, Navy. Some insignia, United States. Nice. The, actually, the name of the pilots are on this jet. Let's see. No, actually, the those are Moody, Moody and Flats. Whoever you guys are, I hope you're still alive. Oh, this is from the Kitty Hawk. USS Kitty Hawk. Sorry, it's horribly out of focus. I don't know how to to fix it. Jesus. Okay, so yes, this is Kitty Kitty Hawk, and you can see the insignia of the pilots, Moody and Flats. 
Awesome. Looks really nice. Ah, oh, cool. Okay, so this is... This is the entire model unboxing for today and I hope you had fun. I certainly did and I wish you a very happy and productive day and goodbye.